All right, we're going to have a look at those Stouffville numbers today. And honestly, the market's staying pretty strong. We're going to start with the numbers. So if we go back to November 2021, we had uh, new listings, 80 come on the market in Stouffville. That's across all home types. So that is condos, semis, towns, links, detached, absolutely everything. We had 68 sales through the month. And the A stands for active listings. There was 55. Now, active listings are what didn't sell and then carry over into the next month. In this case, it would have been December 2021. Um, <clears throat> if we move into October 22, so we'll pull ahead a year, uh, 95 new listings came to market across all home types, 48 sales and 143 active listings so you can see from a year ago definitely more listing inventory hanging around if we go into the november numbers 77 new listings came to market 51 sales so actually the market's staying fairly strong uh, 118 active listings so we saw a reduction there in the amount of listings that moved into december as well if we're checking out the money we're a million four hundred sixty one thousand is the average sale price across all home types a year ago a million one hundred fifty six uh, thousand in October 22 currently trending at a million four hundred and sixty six thousand now I know you're probably scratching your head going how did the average sale price go up three hundred thousand dollars in a month well I can tell you because I did look at the the numbers of what sold for the month and there was a couple of big dollar homes that sold in the 8 million range uh in well one for sure in the 8 million range in Stouffville so that certainly is going to pull that average up when you're only selling 50 homes in a month uh, the SNLR stands for sales to new listings ratio. It is also referred to as the absorption rate. And it tells us out of the homes that came on the market uh, during the month, what is the percentage of them that actually sold? So in November 21, 85% of the properties that came on the market in Stouffville sold. 50.5% of the homes that came on the market in October 22 sold. Um, and you can see that through the numbers, right? How we're calculating this is we're taking the sales divided into the new listings that came on the market. Now, if we're looking at November, 66%. So that means 66% of the houses that came on the market sold. And again, you can see that through the numbers. We only had 77 houses come on the market in Stouffville in November, 51 of them sold. So again, you do the math on that brings you to 66%. So interestingly though, this is how we determine whether it's a buyer's market or whether it's a seller's market. And, and I've been maintaining this, you know, for months now that the market is way stronger than the, than the media is portraying. The interest rates have not had as large of an impact as I believed everyone thought they would in the market, which is why the um, non-resident owner tax actually was popped up uh, by an extra 5% to a total of 25% back in October. So um, this, is, this is how we, again, we determine whether it's a buyer's or seller's market. Anything over 60% would be um, typical of a seller's market. So this means that uh, there is more demand than there is supply. Um, when you get into 50 to 60%, that's what we call a balanced market. So there's enough uh, supply to meet demand. And then when you get under 40%, um, sorry, between, sorry, between uh, uh, 40 and 50% um, is a balanced market. And then under 50% is you're getting into a uh, buyer's market, um, which means there is more supply than there is demand. Um, another great stat to tell us where the market is at is the month of inventory remaining. It tells us that no other homes came on the market after today at the current rate of consumption or the current rate of buying. How long would it take to completely deplete the inventory? So a year ago, 0.8 months of inventory. I should say we calculate this by looking at sales divided into the active listing inventory. So we're not taking into account this new listing inventory. Uh, three months of inventory in October 22 currently trending at 2.3. So typically what we see is we see these two numbers always go opposing to each other. Um, so the sales to new listings ratio as it's going up, which means the market's uh, getting a little bit more heated, we will see the months of inventory going down. Um, there are instances where you see these both going in the same direction. It, it can happen at certain times of the year, but most of the time they're going in opposing directions. So 2.3 months of inventory. And again, you can see this through the numbers is from October to November, we have less listings hanging around and we actually had more sales. So I, I'm not shocked to actually see either of these numbers. Um, so the market has shown some good strength in, um, in, in Stouffville in, uh, in through November. Um, 
sale price to list price ratio, homes selling 106.5% of ASCII a year ago. Not shocking. We knew that. Um, homes were selling over asking. 98.1% uh, in October, currently trending at 97. So homes predominantly selling under asking price. Uh, days on market, get a home sold 17 a year ago, 23 in October, currently trending at 22. So again, with the market starting to heat up, looking at these two stats, I'm actually not shocked um, that, uh, that we're actually seeing a reduction in the days on market with that, you know, competition heating up a little bit. Now, um, you know, certainly for, you know, one thing I could take out of these stats for buyers or sellers right now, um, for sellers, you're in a seller's market. This is a great market to be in. This is sellers is where you want. If you think that the market, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Seller has passed you by, you are wrong. This market is still very, very strong, especially in, uh, York region, Durham region, Simcoe region. We're seeing a lot of homes still go in multiple offers. Um, albeit, you know, most of those times those multiple offers are being, are being cultivated by underpricing the home a, a slight bit, um, but still very strong market for buyers right now. Lots of inventory. Look back a year ago, you were looking under a month of inventory. There was barely anything to look at. Now you have, you know, three and 2.3 months of inventory. You have, you know, if you're looking at Stoville specifically, you got 118 homes that carried over into December. There's lots of inventory to look at. That means there's lots of homes that haven't sold. So certainly, uh, it, you know, if you're a buyer that's been a little frustrated, you've maybe gone through a couple market shifts. Um, if you want, shoot me a DM and I'm happy to spin you up a list of, um, of some inventory that you might, uh, want to consider taking a look at.